throughout our lives, it's inevitable that we'll have to pay a visit to the doctor. When that time comes, it's important to be prepared. Whether it's choosing a new doctor, making a routine visit, or consulting a physician about a serious illness, there are some steps you can take to make sure the whole process goes smoothly. On average, doctors only spend approximately 15 minutes with each patient they see for routine examinations. This can be both frustrating and confusing when communication on one or both sides is lacking, particularly if you're presented with new information to process or new instructions to follow. While a visit to the clinic can be intimidating for anyone, you can lessen the stress and worry associated with doctor's appointments by taking steps to be sure that you're armed with all the information you need. Whether it's your first visit or a follow-up to a diagnosis, it's important to be prepared for your doctor's visit. If you're unsure what specific questions you should ask, there are several sites on the internet that offer helpful checklists. You can prepare for your doctor's visit by making a list of all you want to cover during your exam. This is the best way to ensure that all your needs are being met. However, be aware that the longer the list, the longer the appointment needs to be. Take this into account when initially setting the appointment. If you know you have a lot to discuss, ask if you can book a longer appointment. It's always helpful when you know about your condition. There are some great resources on the web and taking the time to learn will make you a better patient. However, be cautious about self-diagnosing. Perhaps a week or two even before your appointment, uh, really think about any new symptoms that you have, um, anything that you've noticed that's different about your body, the way it looks or feels. Too often, patients wait to the end of the appointment to bring up difficult or embarrassing issues but bringing up difficult issues at the start of an appointment means you are more likely to be satisfied with the visit and adhere to your doctor's recommendations. For your exam, don't be afraid to mark spots on your body that you want checked. Also, it can be helpful if you have pictures. Rashes or skin conditions change over time, so take a few pictures of it at its worst. They might help with diagnosis or treatment. But even if you start with the bigger issues, don't be afraid to tell your doctor about any minor complications with your health, as they may be symptoms of a larger problem. Even things that are insignificant like skin rashes or minor symptoms can potentially uh, be a warning of a, a larger problem or a, a problem that could be even cured if caught early enough. So it's important to bring up any and all concerns uh, or, or differences in your body that you might be aware of. During your consultation, it's critical that you have a copy of and share your medical history with your physician. Giving the wrong history can affect your treatment, prognosis, and your ability to get insurance in the future. Be prepared to give your recent and past history. This will help the doctor better diagnose or treat your current condition. Any past medical problems you've had, surgeries, hospitalizations, very important to have the doctor be aware of those. Again, written down and reviewed during the, uh, the encounter is, is the best way to go about that. It's also important to provide any details about your family's medical history. It may determine your risk of disease and can sometimes help diagnose a condition. Make a list of all the prescriptions you are taking or alternatively, bring all the pill bottles in for review. It's important that you understand what was said and what you need to do. Ask for instructions in writing before you leave or bring in a tape recorder to record the conversation. If you realize you missed something after a visit, don't hesitate to call or email your doctor. When you go to the doctor's office, you should leave feeling helped and satisfied. The important thing is to remain proactive about your health. Your doctor is your partner in your treatment options, not an authority telling you what to do. The more engaged and informed you are in your health care, the more satisfying and successful your doctor's office visit will be.